today we will discuss about the anatomical position of the heart and the different part of the heart. This is the viscera of the heart with part of the pericardium and root of the grain vessels with their branches. Now come to the anatomical position. The apex of the heart which is conical in shape which is directed downwards, forwards and to the left and situated in left feet intercostal space just medial to the mid clavicular line and 9 cm from the midline. Now come to the base. The base which is quadrilateral in shape and which is directed upwards, backwards and to the right. And the sternocostal surface which is convex and directed forwards and upwards. Now come to the presenting part. Heart has apex base we can see it from posterior aspect in my right hand it is quadrilateral in shape this is base and the surfaces there are three surfaces the first one in my right hand this convex surface is sternocostal surface and the flat inferior surface this is diaphragmatic surface which is situated above the diaphragm and in between my two hand this on the left side this is left surface now come to the border there are three border, right border, which extend from the superior vena cava to the right, the inferior vena cava on the right side. This is right border. It is actually formed by the right atrium. Now come to the inferior border. It is sharp. It extends from the inferior vena cava to the apex of the heart. And near the apex of the heart, there is indentation, which is known as the incisor apices cordis. It is formed by the puffing of the left uh, coronary artery. Okay. So inferior border from the inferior vena cava to the apex of the heart and the left border which extends from the apex of the heart to the left auricle here the left auricle this auricle are nothing but the atrial appendages here the large one is the right auricle here the small one is the left auricle now come to the chamber of the heart what is the chamber there are four chamber on the right side this muscular part is the right ventricle on the left side this muscular part is the left ventricle and uh, beneath the right auricle there is right atrium and beneath the left auricle there is left atrium and this ventricle separated externally by the groove or sulcus and internally by the septum and the atrium also now come to the sulcus or groove in between the two ventricles anteriorly in the sternocostal surface this is anterior interventricular groove and on the posterior surface in between two ventricles, this is posterior interventricular groove. In between the atrium and ventricle, this is atrioventricular groove. And in between the two atria, there is interatrial groove, which is uh, cannot uh, visualize, it is as it is oblique. Okay. And the atrioventricular groove, it is looks like the shape of the C and crown like arrangement. It is start from here, here. And it goes posteriorly, posteriorly, and it comes anteriorly again, okay, and ends here beneath the left auricle. It starts from the right auricle, goes posteriorly, and again comes to the right auricle. This atrioventricular groove is also known as the coronary sulcus. Why the name is coronary sulcus? Two reasons. Because of this arrangement, this looks like the crown the corona word comes from the crown so the shape is looks like the crown we wear the crown in our head you know so this shape is looks like the crown it uh, contain the coronary vessels so what are the coronary vessels on the right side it contain right coronary artery and on the left left auricle beneath the left auricle it uh, give passes for the left coronary artery and in the posterior posterior left side of the posterior atrioventricular group it give passes for the coronary sinus so the name is known as also known as the coronary sulcus here is important viva question now comes the important point crux of the heart here the crux of the heart crux of the heart is nothing but the meeting point of all this group that is posterior interventricular group posterior atrioventricular group and posterior interventricular group this point is known as the crux of, sorry, here I mentioned uh, wrongly, here this one is the interatrial group. So crux of the heart is the meeting point of the, all these groups, posterior interventricular 
in atrioventricular and interatrial group. Okay, now come to the uh, anterior interventricular group. What is its important? It it give passes for uh, some vessels, lymphatics, and the nerve plexus and fat also. Here, this one, this one from the left side. Okay, this is the interventricular branch, anterior interventricular branch of left coronary artery, and it also give passes uh, for the great. Uh, cardiac vein, which is the tributaries of coronary sinus, and few lymphatics and nerves as well. Okay, and the posterior interventricular group it gives passes for here. We can see in from it comes from the right side and goes here and passes from this. So, this is the posterior interventricular branch of right coronary artery, and it also gives passes for the middle cardiac vein lymphatics and nerve plexus as well and few fat also uh, from this viscera you can see the fat you can see the fat okay the fat also okay and in the posterior interventricular group here the two coronary artery uh, anastomos here uh, this is the uh, left coronary artery it comes here and this is the right coronary artery interventricular branch they unite together here okay and uh, 